Hello, welcome back. Blue Note Time. <laughs> Tone Poet series, classic series. Haven't done those in, 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 in quite a time, some time, which uh, has the result that we don't see today the usual two records, two vinyl. We see five of them. I, I now cover the records I haven't yet adequately talk about them, give you my personal impression, show you what's out there and if it's worth it in, in my personal opinion. Let's start with a very special, in, at least in my case, highly, highly anticipated release. Really I can't, couldn't wait for this one and have it for quite some time now talking about the, in a way, new Chet Baker sings and plays, in this case with, with Bud Schenk, Russ Freeman. We have, first we sh I show you the vinyl, but so that you can see once more this beautiful Pacific Jazz label, as this is not directly in um, an, an, an Blue Note release, but the Pacific Jazz label is now under their, under their umbrella. Once more the jacket, because I think this jacket is for sure worth mentioning and, and for sure worth taking some time with it. Here is the back side. You know, for all, all those releases we have the same parameters as as usual different when it comes to the two series for the for the tone poets we have um, mastering by kevin gray supervision joe harley press, uh, uh, pressed at rti and we have the glorious stoughton jackets the classic series again mastered by kevin gray pressed at optimal and also the jackets have been there. Yeah, the Chet Baker sings and plays. I, I really hope that this one can take off or put off some pressure of the of the first Chet Baker sings release because so many of, 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 of you are waiting, waiting, waiting for a, a repress, at least a repress in, in significant numbers because this one really has been become quite pricey. Now with the second Chet Baker sings and plays, it might get some pressure off it, but I doubt it because in my just personal opinion, it sounds fine, it sounds great, it's a beautiful, beautiful record that belongs into the collection, of course, two reasons, a great jazz album and I, I in my case, I want to have this Tone Poet series complete. But of course, the first one, I, I like a little bit more. Maybe, maybe because it was such a surprise at the time, this always also plays a role. But musically, I, I just like it a little, little, little bit better. None, not the difference is not uh, big, of course, and, and still this is a very highly or highly recommended record still. But I'm not so sure that this will put off the pressure as, as hoped for. But this one is out there now, you can get it now. And like with the original Chet Baker sings, by now or cry later. So, your decision. Let's go on, let's go on with the Tone Poet series, the new releases now from, from, from the weekend, I think. We have, again, Pacific Records. We have the Jill Evans Great Jazz Standards res Retrospective in Real Time by Thomas Conrad. And one of the many collaborators, I of course can't get into all of them, on this amazing, amazing album, 
One of the members is Steve Lacey on the soprano sax. And you hear him and you should enjoy him. This is out of the whole bunch of records I show, I show in this video. This is my favorite. This is a killer release. I totally love that. I totally dig that this is, we got a, and the additional sheet, uh, 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 sheet here. Those are not uh, uh, gatefolds jackets like so often on the on the Blue Note or, uh, Tone Poet series, because probably there are just no adequate uh, session photos. What also is quite worth showing is the label, because it's again a little a little different. So for your information here, you have a beautiful golden, golden black label. Throughout, I, I, I cannot complain about any um, things that comes with the vinyl, nor with the tone poet or the classic series, all fine here in that regard. So this one, the Jill Evans, the Jill Evans Orchestra, this is my favorite release of this of this release this is killer killer and again i mean the these jackets this is a beauty of a jacket so modern same goes i mean look at those two jackets consider the time we are talking don't let me say something wrong 59 here no 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 that's wrong uh, give me a second i hope i find it fast I hope I find it fast enough. Excuse me. No, not not that fast. Not as fast as I like to. But older jackets. And look at the quality. Look at the at, at this cool design. How modern how modern those jackets, those cover arts are. Amazing. Yeah, more on the typical blue note side in any regard, in every regard. Gatefold jacket. Also the, the cover art, this is Blue Note as we know it, Blue Note as we love it. We're talking about Blue Spirits from Freddie Hubbard. Here we have Freddie Hubbard on the trumpet, James Spaulding on alto sax and flute, Hank Mobley on tenor sax, Kian Zavadi on the euphonium, McCoy Tyner piano, Bob Crenshaw on bass, Pete LaRocca on drums. And the record itself, the stereo record itself, is from 1967. We have, as I said, a beautiful gatefold jacket with the gorgeous session photos. Here is the backside of, of the vinyl. This is Tone Poet series as, it's, as, as we want them. Amazing music, amazing session, an amazing combination of musician. That's what we want, that's what we need. Highly recommend it again. Okay, now we have... Wait, I had the, I had the shrink, shrink breath still on. Now we go, we come to the, to the classic series. Two releases. One is Dizzy Reese Starbright. Here we go. We have Dizzy Reese on the trumpet, trumpet with Hank Mobley on tenor sax, Winton Kelly on the piano, Paul Chambers bass, Art Taylor drums. Classic blue note music. The record is recorded um, 1959. Yet a stereo release, so early, early stereo. Perfect. And we have, and this is A real classic. We also, I also compared it a little bit against the 45 from Music Matters Jazz. I go into it in a second. We have this iconic, at least when it comes to the to the cover design. This is a real icon, isn't it? We have little Johnny C. John Coles. He plays the trumpet together with Leo Wright on alto sax and flute. Joe Henderson on tenor sax, Duke Pearson or Parson on piano, Bob Crenshaw on bass, Walter Perkins, Pete LaRocca 
it's on some titles at the drums. The session took place in 1963 and this as I could compare it to, to Music Matters Jazz release, shows how close the classic series is to the Music Matter Jazz releases. Beautiful, great job. They have improved over time. They keep the standard, which makes this series, considering the um, price of them, they are totally fair price. I, I paid $24.99, I think, in this case, for the, for the records. This is an amazing achievement. There are reasons, of course, why they can put them out so cheap. So cheap. They probably don't have to pay any fees, uh, as they are the owner of the rights. But at least they give them to us for a very, very fair price. This makes this series an outstanding achievement. Although I would love to have the Stoughton jackets on them. But that's another story and a lot of people see that differently. Yeah, that's my quick, fast take on those five Blue Note releases. Still happy that they are out there. Not as exciting after all those years when they come. Of course, you get used to them, but they kept the level. And so just because we are used to it now that we will have them, that they keep them coming, doesn't make them less valuable. They are. And, and uh, how valuable in, in many regards, I'm not talking money here, we will see, we will fear, we will, uh, uh, we will feel, we will experience when the series are done in the way. Someday they are done and someday they aren't out there anymore. And then is the time where say, oh, this was serious. Remember the tone poets, the classics, oh, that were amazing times. So don't get too used to it, get them, enjoy them, they are great. Okay, thank you for your time, see you on the next one, bye.